It's the moment every politician dreads, the concession speech. And Republican Mitt Romney was no exception on election night. This election is over, but our principles endure. Romney's supporters were devastated, and Republicans are trying to figure out the lessons of this year's defeat. Among them is Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal. We don't need to pander or change our principles, but at the same time, we can be respectful. Jindal is among those urging the party to soften its conservative rhetoric and reach out to minority, women, and younger voters, groups that largely supported the president. It's a view shared by former Reagan White House Chief of Staff Ken Duberstein. Security is not a winning campaign strategy, nor is it a governing strategy. Politics in America is give and take. Politics is the art of the compromise. And Duberstein says his party needs to be more inclusive. We've got to start tearing down walls and tearing down barriers and not erecting them. That's what the Republican Party needs to be doing. Republicans also face major demographic challenges. The number of white voters is decreasing, while Hispanic voters are on the rise, says University of California historian Matthew Dalek. They cannot simply be the party of uh, old white men, uh, Protestant uh, men, that they have to appeal to uh, African Americans, Hispanic Americans, suburban women, Uh, young people. Some Republicans, including Arizona Senator John Kyle, are already reaching out to Hispanics with immigration reforms aimed at offering young people a path to legal residency. For a lot of the people who are going to participate in this program, uh, you're going to have a good path if that's what you desire. The party also needs to moderate its tone says Brookings Institution analyst Thomas Mann. Being conservative is fine, but but not being dogmatic or ideological zealots. Uh, they're, they're really going to have to operate within the mainstream of American politics, and it's going to be fascinating to see how they adjust now to their longer-term challenges. Analysts predict lots of debate ahead for a party that's eager to move on after its latest election defeat. Jim Malone, VOA News, Washington.